Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have got some whole house tidying to do, tons and tons of laundry. I'm gonna be cleaning the kitchen and I also tried the pink stuff out on a few new areas and I was super impressed, so I can't wait for you guys to see that. I also vacuumed and mopped the entire downstairs and then the next day, I even did more laundry and then I share how we clean Kaysen's baseball pants. And then I also decluttered and organized underneath our kitchen sink and it looks so good. So I can't wait for you to see that either. So if you guys are in need of some cleaning motivation today, I hope this video will give you all that you need in order to get some things checked off of your to-do list. So before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe. It's totally free. All you have to do is click the little subscribe button right below this video. And then if you click the bell and all, it'll actually notify you anytime that I post new videos. And if you are a new subscriber, then make sure to say hey down in the comments. Let me know where you're from. Tell me a little bit about yourself so that way we can all get to know you guys better. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Let me know what you're up to while you're watching. I also want to say a quick thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. So to get started today, I'm going to go ahead and get a load in the washing machine. I had so much laundry to do on this day. And then I'm going to start tidying up around the house. So one thing that I talk about a lot on my channel is the way that I get motivated to clean because I feel like this is one of the questions that I get all the time is how do you find the motivation to get all the things done? And honestly, some days I really am not motivated. But if I know that I have a lot of cleaning to get done on a specific day, then the first thing that gets me motivated is to get my bed made in the mornings. I know that making your bed sounds so simple, but honestly, just one little simple task that makes th something look better just gets me motivated to keep going. So you're going to see I'm going around and just kind of tidying up different places in the house. I had a full laundry basket of clean clothes that were already folded that needed to be put away. So as I'm going into the kids' rooms and putting away their laundry, I decided to go ahead and make their beds too. And <laughs> one of the questions I get anytime I show myself making my kids' beds is, why can't your kids do it on their own? And they totally can do it on their own. But my kids actually get up at 6.25 a.m. and we are out the door by 7.10 a.m. on school mornings. So this happened to be a school morning. I do not make them make their beds in the mornings before school. But on the weekends and during the summer, they do have to make their beds in the mornings before they can do any like technology or play with friends or any of that kind of thing. So while I'm talking about my kids, I also wanted to take a second to introduce myself in case you guys are new here. My name is Amy Darley. I live right outside of Savannah, Georgia, and I have two kiddos, like I said. Kaysen, he's going to be 10 in June, and then Gracie June will be 8 in July. So I am about to have a 10-year-old and an 8-year-old, and I cannot believe how fast time flies. It's crazy. But also, my husband's name is Chance, and he is in medical sales. I get questions about what he does all the time because I'll often show him in my videos, and he's wearing scrubs. So that's what he does. And then we also have our chocolate lab, Cooper, right here. <laughs> now, before I started my YouTube channel, I was actually an elementary school teacher for nine and a half years before I became a stay-at-home mom. So now here I am. I have my YouTube channel, and I absolutely love what I'm doing and love getting to know all of you guys. So now it's your turn. I want you guys to introduce yourself down in the comments. Let me know where you're from, whether you have a career, are you a stay-at-home mom, all the things. I want to get to know you guys better. Now while I'm here in the kitchen, I did get a Thrive order in, so I'm going to unbox all this stuff and give you a real quick grocery haul, and thank you to Thrive for partnering with me on today's video. Alright y'all, so I just got in this order from Thrive Market, so I'm going to go ahead and pull all this stuff out really quick, and I will give you a very fast little grocery haul so you can see what all I ordered. And then if you've never heard of Thrive Market, I'll let you know a little bit about them. And I also have a really good coupon code just for you guys. So in case you want to check them out, you can use that code after I give you all the details. 
All right, I have pulled everything out of the box so it's easier for me to show you guys some of these things I've ordered for the first time and some of these are some favorites that we order every time we order from Thrive. All right, so the first thing I have are these jalapeno beef sticks. They're so good. They actually come in a bunch of different flavors, but I love these because I can just throw them in my purse or keep some in my car in case we're hungry while we're on the go and it's a good source of protein. Next, I got some wisps and we got the Asiago pepper jack flavor. We haven't tried this flavor before, but these are good. Next, we have Thrive Market grass-fed collagen peptides, and I've never tried the Thrive Market brand before, but I use collagen peptides every single morning in my coffee, and I got the unflavored one. That's the only collagen peptides I've ever tried, but got that for some extra protein in my coffee in the mornings. I definitely feel like it also helps with like hair growth, nail growth. My hair has been growing like crazy since I've been using this, um, and I've been doing collagen peptides since... I think last August. So I definitely recommend trying that out. Now these are one of our favorite chips, the late July jalapeno lime flavor. We order these every time we order from Thrive and then we get the Thrive Market salsa to go with it. Now they also have deals on their website. So I got the deal. They had a deal for the late July chips and also the Boom Chicka Pop popcorn. So I got two of these on sale and then two of these on sale and then I just got the white cheddar popcorn which is what the kids like. And then the next thing, I haven't tried these before so I'm excited to try these. They're chocolate protein bites and they have sunseed butter. So these are um, little snacks that me or the kids can have to get some extra protein in. They look delicious. And then these are kind of like the Rice Krispie Treats, but it's the Annie's version. We've gotten the regular ones before, but this one is the peanut butter flavor, so we haven't tried that one yet. But my kids love peanut butter anything, so I'm sure that they're gonna like this. I also got some more Z-Bars. One of their favorites is the chocolate chip. They also like the brownie ones, but I got these for this order. And then we haven't tried these yet either. Y'all will have to let me know if you've tried these before, but these are kind of like fruit roll-ups, but the Annie's version of it's called fruit tape. So this looks really good. They have swirly strawberry flavor and bendy berry. And then the last thing we got are these good pops. They're organic freezer pops. They have cherry limeade, fruit punch, and um, Concord grape. And so they're made with 100% fruit juice with no added sugar. So these are an awesome option if your kids like fruit pops and it's starting to get warm here. So I figure this will be perfect for spring and summer. All right, so that is everything that I got in my Thrive order this time. So if you've never heard of Thrive Market, it's an online membership-based market where they focus on making healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. Thrive Market has thousands of wholesome food, home, and beauty products, and it makes it easier to just shop healthy without having all of the hassle. So one of the best things to me about shopping with Thrive Market is you can actually shop by diet. So whether you are gluten-free, paleo, raw, vegan, vegetarian, keto, whatever diet you are on, you can actually go on the website and shop those products. Another thing that you can do is, for instance, if you were looking for some high protein snacks, you can actually go into food, snacks, and then whatever snacks you wanted to do. So if you were looking at chips, for instance, and then you can actually go down into health and ingredients and click on high protein and that'll bring up all the high protein snacks. So if you are keto and you are looking for a lot of high protein snacks, this would be a great way to do that. So for me, Thrive Market actually helps me save a ton of time when I'm trying to make healthy eating choices because I'm not walking around a grocery store trying to look at labels and ingredients and doing all of that, trying to find certain products. It's easier to do it all online. I don't have to worry about standing in line at a store either. And also, if you wanted to sign up for auto, sh auto ship, if you have some favorite products that you order every single month, they have an auto ship option and it saves you even more money. So you get an additional five to 10% off by doing auto ship. So if you're interested in checking out Thrive Market, they actually have two different membership options to suit your lifestyle. They have a one month membership option that's $9.95 a month or you can do the 12 month membership, which is $59.95. And that's the one that I went to because it actually brings it down to only $5 a month. And then all orders over $49 ships free.
And I'm super excited because Thrive Market wants to give you guys a new offer where if you use my link, it's down in the description box, you're actually going to get 25% off your entire first order plus a free gift with your first purchase. So y'all let me know if you do try out Thrive Market and how you like it. And then also if you already shop from Thrive, let me know some things that you love to purchase off of there so that way we can get some other food ideas to try as well. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna tidy up and then I wanted to go ahead and get my workout in for the morning. So I get questions all the time about this. So I decided I would throw it in a cleaning video. So now it is workout time and I decided to do a high fitness workout on this day. There's two days a week that I try to do like a some sort of hit workout and high fitness is awesome. I burn a ton of calories. They have a YouTube channel with a 55 minute playlist and also a 45 minute one. They also have um, an app I think where you can join the app and I don't know how much it is a month. I haven't ever tried it, but I used to go to the gym to do high fitness because they have a class, but it doesn't start till nine o'clock in the morning and even though I'm starting this at nine o'clock at my house, it just saves me a little bit of time going to and from the gym. So I'm doing it in my living room this morning. Another thing that I love to do a few times a week is do run walk intervals outside. And then I also use the sweat app still and do some sort of like weight lifting workout a few times a week as well. Oh my goodness, I just finished that workout. I am so red, so sweaty. I have to go do a business call really quick and then I'm gonna run and go. I have to go to the grocery store for a few things and then I'm gonna get back to cleaning when I get back. So after my business call was done, the first load of laundry was also done so I was ready to throw in another load before I head to the store. All this time, I've been feeling hopeless till you came around, came around. All right, y'all, I am back from the grocery store. Got me a little bit of Chick-fil-A and I have to go turn over some laundry really quick and then I'm gonna finish cleaning here in the kitchen. Now we are back in the kitchen and I need to finish cleaning in here. You can see we have stuff all over the floor and actually I think that's a little bit of paint. Gracie June had been using some washable paint up here at the countertop and so it got all over the countertop, all over the floor. We have a few dishes from breakfast this morning so I'm just gonna load the dishwasher and then wash anything that I need to wash by hand. And then I'm gonna be using the Pink Stuff product. If you didn't see last week's video, I used it in my shower and it worked amazing. So I wanted to try it on a few other places here in the kitchen and I can't wait for you to see how it worked. Okay, so I'm gonna clean off my stovetop really quick. I have seen people using the Pink Stuff on their stovetops too, so you can definitely do that. But I'm just using the Method Degreaser here because it's not too, too bad and I'm just using a wet sponge to kind of break up anything that's caked onto the stovetop. But like I said, it's not too bad. But I did notice some spots on my burners that I wanted to try to clean off. I have used the um, Barkeeper's Friend in the past and that does work, but you have to scrub pretty hard, I feel like. So I was wanting to test it out with the pink stuff and see if it was any easier. So here's a quick look at what my burner looked like before. And then this is the pink stuff. I order it off of Amazon. I'll have a link for it below, but I'm just gonna take a damp sponge. So I'm just using that same little sponge and I'm gonna rub it on here and let it sit for just a few minutes. Alright, so now I'm going to rinse it off and then I'm going to scrub this. I did notice that most of it came off super, super easy. Um, you might have to reapply a few times if there's still some on there, but it came off pretty good. So here's a little before and after. 
and here's a before and after of the stove now that it is all clean and I'm gonna put the grates back on top but I also was thinking I bet the pink stuff would work really good on the grates of your stove as well so I might be trying that soon too I'm really quickly just gonna go around and clean off my appliances with my Jaws kitchen cleaner So another place that I usually use Barkeeper's Friend is here on the inside of my white sinks to get all these hard water stains off. But I decided that I wanted to try the pink stuff in here as well and then kind of compare to the Barkeeper's Friend. So I did notice it took a little bit more arm power to scrub out these hard water stains than it did on the burner, but I just ended up getting the walnut scrubber sponge out. It has a little bit more of a texture, so that definitely helped get it out a little bit easier. I still think this works better than the Barkeeper's Friend. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want to just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better So other than cleaning out my sink, I think this is probably one of my favorite parts about cleaning the kitchen is cleaning the wood countertop. And I love this daily wood cleaner by Method. I've been using it since before I even had a YouTube channel. I love the smell of it. It just works so good. I love how shiny everything looks afterwards too. Show you what a good time looks like You can do better, so much better All right, so now we're moving on to vacuuming and I have out my all time favorite vacuum ever. It's the Shark Uplight. If you are looking for just one vacuum, this is the one that I always recommend. It does have a cord, but it's still super lightweight. 
and it works great on carpet and hardwood floors. Also, I feel like for such a good vacuum, the price is really good too. And so I will link this down in the description box. I have a lot of my other cleaning favorites linked down there too. So if you wanna check any of that stuff out, it's always there. But if you are looking for a vacuum cleaner, this, was, this is the one that I will always, always recommend to you first. But I also have a cordless vacuum that I use almost daily, if not every day, every other day. And it is the Hoover Blade Plus. I just got it recently. I did a video sharing it not too long ago. And then another cordless vacuum that I do recommend is the Musu vacuum. I used to have that one. I actually gave it to my mom because her cordless vacuum died. And since I had the new um, Hoover Blade Plus, then I just gave her my Musu. But I definitely recommend both of those cordless vacuums. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gotta make that move. All the neon signs, now they shout to me and you to write our story. Wanna shape the Now that I have all my vacuuming done, it is time to mop these floors. It needed it so bad. And I'm using my O-Cedar Spin Mop and just good old pine saw and hot water. And I'm sure that you've seen everybody share the O-Cedar Spin Mop. If you've been around on my channel for a while, you know this is my favorite mop that I've ever had. It works so good. I also have extra mop heads for my O-Cedar Spin Mop so that way I can use one mop head on the wood floors, one mop head in the bathrooms, and then if any are dirty then I can have extras. So I definitely recommend getting some extra mop heads for these as well. So now I have load three in the dryer, load four is in the washing machine, and then I've got two loads right here that need to be need to be folded. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Now 
Now I'm gonna use Kaysen's laundry basket to take their clothes upstairs. The kids are gonna put those away. And then Chance is helping me put his clothes away. I have told him I cannot stand putting his clothes away anymore because his drawers are jam packed full. So I like him to do that himself. <laughs> All right, we're moving on to day two of cleaning. We have all of Kaysen's baseball pants laid out here on the ground, and Chance was actually about to go to work, so he wanted to do this before he left. And this is how we clean his baseball pants. So the magic trick is to use a pressure washer. Just be careful. If you have something that you can actually hang them on to pressure wash, it's even easier. So that way you don't accidentally spray your foot or anything, because you definitely don't want to do that. It will hurt really bad you can ask chance <laughs> but this gets all of the dirt out so much easier than scrubbing the pants so i've tried so many different ways to get these baseball pants clean especially the white ones and this is the best way if you are a baseball mom and you do not have a pressure washer you can always take them by the car wash and use the pressure washer there and honestly these have been sitting in the laundry room for about a week so even if you can't go to the car wash right after your baseball game or your baseball tournament, whatever, just stick them in a bag and throw them in the back of your car and take them by the car wash whenever you can because I promise you this will save you so much scrubbing and it'll actually work a whole lot better than any laundry detergent. Now I have seen so many people share the Fells Nap the Bar and so I used to use that but honestly it took so much scrubbing that I was just sick of doing it and I gave up. So this is how they look after they've been pressure washed and now I'm just going to spray them with some sort of stain remover. This is the one that I used. I have a couple different ones but honestly I feel like any stain remover would work pretty well and then I'm gonna wash them with regular regular laundry detergent and hot water and then I hang dry all of his baseball pants just because I'm so scared they're gonna shrink up on him and he grows like crazy and so we go through baseball pants so fast now with the white ones I did use a little bit of bleach with my laundry detergent but for our gray pants I didn't use any bleach and here's a little before and after of the pants and you can see a little bit of coloring still on the white pants but it looks so much better and I didn't have to do any scrubbing. So now I have loads three and four from yesterday that I washed all ready to be folded. I've got Cooper in here hanging out with me so I can get all this laundry folded and put away and as you guys saw, I still have so much more laundry to do, but I didn't get the rest of it done for this video, but I'm still working on getting all that laundry washed and folded and caught up on. Okay, now the next project for my to-do list this week is to declutter and organize underneath my kitchen sink. As you can see, it has become a little bit of a mess. My little hooks that I had gotten from Dollar Tree broke and this basket fell off, so I need to do something with all of this. So I'm gonna start by just taking everything out. I'm gonna clean here under the sink and then I'm gonna start organizing. You don't know a thing about what this is like. I don't want to think about what's ahead. All right, so the biggest problem I usually have with trying to organize down here is all of these pipes and just the inconvenience of where they are underneath the sink. Um, I usually have this caddy that I take around to every room and this is all the stuff that I usually use to clean with around the house and the bathrooms and the bedrooms, all that kind of thing. So I think I'm gonna actually take this out and only leave the cleaning products that I use here in the kitchen. 
All right, and then these are the containers that I'm gonna be using to organize with. These three I actually already had from another project that I thought I was gonna use them for and did not end up using them, so these were up in my attic already. And then these two containers here came in a set and I actually ordered it off of Amazon. They can be stacked like this or they could be, you know, you could put them next to each other. They also had a bunch of other containers that were stackable with them as well that maybe had just sat on the top. So some other containers that would be good underneath like a bathroom sink. So I will link these for y'all. I'll link these too in case you're interested. So I already kind of messed around. I had gone through a bunch of different organizing containers that I already had and messed around underneath the kitchen sink just to try to figure out what would fit, what didn't fit. And so these were the ones that ended up working out the best. So now I'm gonna start filling them and organizing underneath the sink. Now, like I said earlier, I am just keeping the cleaning products under the sink that I actually use in the kitchen. So that's what's going into these two containers. And I also decided to put a bunch of my cleaning rags under the sink too because I'm always having to run into the laundry room and reach up above the cabinets to pull out cleaning cloths when I'm cleaning in the kitchen. So I thought it would be nice to just have these underneath the kitchen sink so I can have some in there. And then that way it's just easier when I'm cleaning in the kitchen, I can just reach under there and pull them out really quick. So in these containers, I decided to put my dishwasher pods in one and then in the other, I'm gonna put some sponges and magic erasers. Now for these containers, I did want to put labels on them, so I'm just going to use my Cricut Joy and I have the Cricut Joy app on my phone. It's so easy. I go down to quick labels. All of these labels are already preloaded into the app and so all I have to do is literally type out what I want them to say and then it cuts it out for me and then I can put it on my drawers. Just watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Ooh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. Here is the finished product. I absolutely love the way that this looks underneath the sink, but I also love that it's so functional and I don't have a bunch of stuff crammed under here that doesn't even belong. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that little transformation. All right, friends, so now the entire house is all clean. It feels so good to have the whole house clean at one time. That doesn't happen very often at our house, so it definitely feels good. I hope you guys had so much fun hanging out with me today. Don't forget to check out Thrive Market and use my link down in the description box to get yourself 25% off your first order plus a free gift. And I hope you had an awesome day. Give this video a thumbs up if you're motivated to get some things done. And don't forget to say hey in the comments and introduce yourself if you're new. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!